A child presents with brachycephalic skull, high palatal arch, narrow maxilla, and hypertelorism. Identify the condition. And with the question, we have an image over here that shows the skull radiograph, and there is a very specific pattern here. Okay, as you can see, this is known as beaten metal appearance. Now, what are these features specific of? So, the options here are uh, Rosen syndrome, Trichard Collins syndrome, cleidocranial dysplasia, and Gardner syndrome. Now, of all the given options, the best way to answer this question would be to go by the radiographic appearance, which is the beaten metal appearance, and also the brachycephalic skull and hypertelorism. These are the features of Cruzon syndrome. So, this is the clinical feature of Cruzon syndrome. Uh, it is caused by mutation in the fibroblast growth factor receptor 2 that is FGFR2 which is located on gene number 10Q at the location 26. So clinically you will see a lot of uh, changes in the child and the question is specific to a child. Cleidocranial dysplasia and Gardner syndrome are more common in younger adults or younger individuals where you see loss of clavicle or hyperextensibility of joints or Gardner syndrome with the a uh, specific type of its features okay so we will not go more into that let's talk more of the cruzen syndrome here so there is brachycephaly firstly this is a craniosynostosis that means there is early fusion of uh, skull sutures leading to brachycephaly that is short head okay and there is scaphocephaly that is boat shaped head Or there could be trigonocephaly that is triangle shaped head. Now talking of shapes of head, there is a specific feature here known as clover leaf skull. So clover leaf would mean something like this, okay. So because of fusion, early fusion of the skull sutures, there is clover leaf skull. The word for this is clee blood shaded. Clee blood shadal okay deformity the orbits are shallow and there is hypertelorism as indicated in the question the question also talks about high palatal arch and narrow maxilla which are the intraoral findings now the radiographic assessment shows beaten metal appearance that i told you okay so here as you can see there is this specific kind of appearance so if you take metal sheet and if you beat it hammer it here and there then this is the kind of appearance that you get in the skull radiograph. So these are the characteristic findings of Cruzen syndrome. Some patients may also uh, show cleft lip and cleft palate, but that is a rare kind of a possibility. So the correct answer is Cruzen syndrome, that is option 1.